Hello and welcome to Hairstrand Designer version 1.58. In this version I've got a new feature called highlighting which basically highlights the sets. There's also a little heartbeat that I've added just to show you the performance level of Hairstrand Designer because it is quite computationally intense as it tries to show you real-time previews. Um, I was going to say no to load the autosave. So now when we start everything's a bit more blue and purple, my favourite colours. Um, and you can see as you hover over each set, it gives you a little tag to show you which set you're hovering over. And also the same if you hover over these numbers, you'll see they'll flash. Okay, and then you can just select them from there, or you can select them from here, all the same. Uh, if you want to move it around, just hold for a second, and that will become grabbed. So just a little second, and if you select one and you hold over here, you can also, as long as you don't touch another one, uh, you can also move it like that. So as long as you're not hovering over a different one, you can hold and that will move it around. I may make some improvements to this as time goes by, just with a little bit of user feedback. Um, but it's much easier to move things around now or select the sets. You just click once, it goes orange. Orange means it's selected and you can go ahead and play around with the settings this way. You don't have to go down here now, but it does help if you've got a bit of a cluster like this and you're not sure which set is what. You can hover, hover over one of these. You can see set two is there. You can click, uh, select it from here and then hold to drag it out. Just click and hold, like that. Uh, right click will re reset anything selected down here or up here, right clicking. Just be careful with that uh, when you click these that you don't hold for too long because you'll accidentally move it. Uh, that's another thing that I could work on. I just have to work out the the difference between the position and the mouse really and then just have that as the grab point shouldn't be too difficult and may work a little bit more on that for the next update but I figure this is a good time to release this one and um, anything else that might crop up uh, a few things that have been changed so this is the windowed version and you can see a, a fine white line up here this is going to allow you to move the screen around. Now I'm using a 4K monitor so it's ideal for me to kind of rescale this. So I could maybe have it off to one side. Now because I've rescaled this um, or maximize or minimize anything like that you must press F6 right after. That will refresh the texture memory that it uses because when you resize the window, it's, it seems to be a Windows thing, but when you resize the window, it, it messes up the, the graphics indexing somewhere and it's not something that's easy to fix. Okay, so I'm just going to say yes to reload and I've got everything back. And now when I generate, I won't get grey textures or any kind of surface errors. So I'm going to generate 38 strands. By the looks of it, is that all? Okay, won't take long. And there we go. So that all works fine. So you can see if I was to resize the window, that texture memory gets lost. And no matter what I do, if I try and regenerate, it's lost the, the indexing. Um, it seems to be an internal graphics thing. So we'll just press F6. It will, re, it will move the window around, um, but you're okay to move the window. It's fine if you move the window, it's only when you uh, rescale it or minimize or maximize it. So as you can see, if I generate now, I'm only, I've only just moved the window. Ignore the fact that it says full screen here, just a label that I need to change. Um, and that all works fine. And that should export fine as well. OK, 
Okay, so the heartbeat's back. So keep an eye on that heartbeat. It does. It lets you know if something's busy, and you know it gives you a good idea. Just to leave it, don't touch it because if you start clicking it and moving it around, there's a good chance. In this case, it was fine, but there's a good chance it could lose that texture memory. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoy using Hairstrand Designer and I look forward to your feedback and improving it even more. See you later. Bye.